Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my New York shopping haul. If you haven't already seen part one, it is a kind of fashion and accessories haul. Um, I went a little bit crazy with yellow things and in Chanel and I'm very excited, very, very excited. I got so many nice summer things. If you haven't already seen that, that is up. I will link it below and it's also just on my channel. Um, but this part two is going to be a Sephora haul. So things that I got in Sephora whilst I was in New York. And all of this is still in the bag. I have not taken any of it out or used any of it yet with the exception of a sun cream, which I needed to use today um, because my other sun cream had run out. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm gonna show you the most elusive thing that I picked up in New York, which was the Sunday Riley foundation in number 150, which is light with yellow undertones. I normally go for neutral, but I tried out all the colors and 150 seemed to be the best for me, um, in consideration that I'm probably gonna get a bit more tanned. I feel very, very pale at the moment, um, but it's the beginning of the summer, so usually I'll go down like one shade in summer. Um, I really wanted to try this. I think it's just launched in the UK anyway, so I could have got it there, but for some reason, I just wanted to buy it when I was in New York. I saw it and I tried it out of my hand. I was like, this looks really nice. It's called The Influencer, which I don't like the name, but clean longwear foundation, natural looking longwear, lightweight feel, satin matte finish, medium to full coverage. It sounds right up my street. Um, yes, so I have not read any reviews, I have not heard anything about it because I basically live under a rock most of the time looking after a baby when I probably should be paying more attention to what's coming out in the beauty world. However, I don't know, has there been a lot of reviews on this? I feel like there must have been because it was sold out in this colour in, I think I got it in the fifth Sephora that I went into. They had a lot of the darker colours and a lot of the lighter colours but obviously I'm kind of like that lighter middle type tone that's not super super pale but it's not dark and they were just sold out in everything from like 130 to 180 most of the Sephora Sephora's were sold out um and yeah I managed to find a 150 in the fifth Sephora that I checked it's not like I was on a mission but every time we passed a Sephora I would just pop in and they were usually like on the display at the front um, so they're easy to spot and then obviously like if they weren't there you'd just quickly be like have you got any of these or are you all sold out and they'd either be like yes or we're all sold out mainly we're all sold out but yeah if any of you guys have tried this let me know what you think because I'm going to be trying it out tomorrow um that was not not smooth move. Anyway, I can stay on the floor for the time being. Um, so I got that, which I was very excited about. And then I also picked up one of the Pat McGrath palettes. I had seen loads about these online and I was unsure about which one to get. I knew I didn't want to get the big one because they are like a hundred and I think the big ones were $160 or something crazy. And then the smaller ones were $55. So the big ones I think have 10 shades in them and these have six shades and these are 55 and they're like 120 to me that didn't make sense like if you buy more you should get them cheaper per one surely um i don't know why i think maybe they were slightly more metallic in the bigger palettes the one i ended up going for was the mothership subliminal platinum bronze eye palette so i went for the bronze one they were basically in cool toned or warm toned or like multicolored. let's face it I was never going to pick up the like colourful, colourful one. But I did have a really big debate between the gold, like warm toned one and this one, which is the more like greyish, cool toned one. And I ended up going for this because I feel like in the warm toned one, there was a lot of like very gold, like metallic gold shades, which were pretty, but I feel like they were, they're quite out there and I don't know how much like day to day I would wear them. So this is the one that I went for. Um, as you can see, the six shades are absolutely beautiful. The formulations of these are so nice. They feel amazing. Um, and there's a really nice like matte brown and they've got, I don't know, it's just a really lovely selection of colors. And I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very excited to try it. I feel like I sound very raspy. Um, I'm quite jet lagged today. I actually only got in yesterday. So I feel like that's probably the reason. Um, I also love the packaging. I think the packaging is really beautiful. And yeah, so that is the Pat McGrath palette in the bronze, platinum bronze it's called. And then I also picked up another eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. I haven't actually tried any of the Huda eyeshadows. I've tried the face palette and I've tried the lipsticks, both of which were amazing. And then I spotted this in the Isle of Temptation by the Tills. It's the Smoky Obsessions mini palette. It's 
it's just stunning. Look at this. It's stunning. How gorgeous. I feel like, yes, it's quite similar to the Pat McGrath one. Yes, I'm aware of that. Do I need more eyeshadows? No. Do I want them? Yes. Am I traveling a lot in the next few months? Will I use this? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so lovely. I love the fact that it's got the bl matte black and the brown matte because equally I like to use the cooler tones and the warmer tones. I feel like it's just, it's just got everything that you need. It's got some jazzy, really, really sp like spangly ones. It's got the neutral blending color. It's got the mid-tones, got the metallics. These colours are just amazing. This colour is like gorgeous, gorgeous, everyday, spangly colour. Um, yes. Very excited for that. And I think the packaging is super cute and the size is super cute. I also picked up another mini um, of the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. Which I had this like a year and a half, two years ago. I loved it, I used it all the time. I smashed mine because they're very, very, very soft powders. Um, and I saw the mini version. I wasn't gonna repurchase the big one just because I feel like I didn't use it enough. I kind of, I don't know, I felt like I'd kind of moved on to other ones. When I saw the mini one, I was like, this is perfect because you need the smallest amount of this highlighter to do anything and it's just gorgeous. So I picked up a mini one of those. And then I also got a couple of other bits. I got two different SPF um, items. The first one is the Kiehl's Superfluid UV. This actually wasn't from Sephora, this was from the airport, but I just threw it in the Sephora bag. Um, disappointingly, I'm, I think they've changed the texture of this, either that or I got the wrong one. But the one that I used to have was in a tube. I don't know if they still make that. I couldn't see it out in the airport when I looked and when I went to go to a Sephora counter when I was in New York, they actually didn't have it either. So um, I ended up picking up this one, but it's definitely a different texture and it's not quite as nice. It's still nice, I'll still use it, but it's a little bit more drying than the other one. So I was a bit disappointed by that. Either way, if anyone knows Kiehl's well, can you let me know if they still do the one in the tube? Because that one is amazing. So I picked that up anyway to try it and then having tried it, I'm a bit meh. I don't know how I feel. And then I also picked up um, this, which is the Invincible Setting Powder from Supergoop. It's SPF 45 um, Mineral uh, Powder Sunscreen. I have the Peter Thomas Roth one of these and I absolutely love it. And I was going to buy another one of those when I spotted this and tried the brush on this, which is so much nicer than the Peter Thomas Roth one. It's like so much softer, it's rounded. The Peter Thomas Roth one is like squared off at the top um, and it's a little scratchy, whereas this one looks nicer. So I'll let you guys know which I prefer, but it basically is the same thing. It's like a mineral sunscreen, translucent, that you can use throughout the day to top up your um, sun protection. And I'm pretty sure this thing in the middle comes out, but I don't know how it does that, or it maybe goes down. I need to read the instructions. Anyway. Um, the brush is much, much softer. So I think that's gonna be good. SPF 40, got one of those. Excited to try that. And then lastly from Sephora, I spent my 500 point perk, which is a big deal because I've been saving these points for a very long time. And I went for the Makeup Forever 500 point Beauty Insider gift. And it has lots of things in it. I haven't actually tried that much Makeup Forever stuff. They do have it in the UK now. They didn't for a long time. But they now um, they now do do it. So I can get it if I want to. But I'm not like... I haven't really been like... I don't know, into it enough. Anyway. So I picked up this. Which cost me 500 of my hard earned points on my card. And I got... It's a mini Excessive Lash Mascara. A mini... Aqua XL Colour Paint, which I think is like an eyeshadow. Yeah, extra long lasting waterproof shadow makeup gel. It looks like a nice colour, it's like a champagne colour. There's a really beautiful dark purple lipstick, which is definitely more wintry than summery, but it looks nice. Um, there is the um, Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. There's also the Micro Finishing HD Loose Powder. So yeah, and I think it just comes in a box. Yeah, it's basically just like five deluxe samples, which I'm excited about. So yeah, that is it for my Sephora haul. Is there anything I should have picked up? Because I'm going to LA in a few weeks time. If you guys have any other recommendations that you think I need to check out when I'm there. Obviously, I feel like I didn't pick up a huge amount of stuff this time. I kind of knew what I wanted to get. Um, so a lot of it wasn't like impromptu purchases, but 
small but sweet Sephora haul for you all. I feel like I'm very, very scratchy in my voice, so I'm going to go now. But I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I'll see you very soon.